Welcome back to our NIU Dynasty, where we are getting ready to take on the Buffalo Bulls in continual MAC conference play. Last episode, we took on and defeated Kent State in a game that was a little closer than we would have liked it to been. With Ethan Hampton having a quiet day, only thrown for 176 yards, but on the flip side, Jalen Poe, our sophomore running back, had a fantastic day, running for almost 150 yards, two touchdowns, and averaging almost five yards a carry. It might be tough to keep that pace in this game, though. Buffalo is a top half ranked run defense in the MAC conference, but only having one player rated higher than 80 overall on their defense, hopefully we can still make easy work of this team. So let's head on down to the field as we are on the road to get ready to take on Buffalo and see if we can get another conference win here to start season number two. Nick Reed has it teed up for the Buffalo Bulls as they will be kicking this game off. Huskies set back to receive, taken from the goal line, and this is going to be out to about the 14 yard line. And that would bring out Ethan Hampton, the senior redshirt quarterback in the Huskies offense. Starting with a first and 10 single setback, Jake Applegate in motion. It's going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe to get things started. Huskies trying to go with the ground game early on is now Justin Lynch in the game for NIU. He's going to pick up a gain of five on the ground. Now Hampton back to throw for the first time today. That's completed. The true freshman Kevin Shaughnessy coming up with the first down reception for the Huskies. Now Ethan Hampton back to throw and that's going to be intercepted by the Buffalo defense. Dion Crawford with the takeaway for Buffalo and they have a chance to take the lead early on here in this game over the Huskies. Ethan Hampton has been very up and down in his performance when it comes to turnovers this season for the Huskies as he either seems to have a great day taking care of the ball or struggles heavily with it as Buffalo is going to find the end zone here. Messiah Birch the sophomore receiver gets the Bulls on the board first to start this game. So down 7-0, the Huskies coming back out on offense, giving it off to Jalen Poe, who's going to break off a big run here past the 50-yard line. And I use offense, hopefully gaining some momentum back from that run. Is now man in motion. It's going to be a handoff to Justin Lynch going nowhere. Stopped at the line of scrimmage on that one, second and 10. Hampton in the shotgun, man in motion, and it's going to be a pitch to Kenji Lewis, who's taking it right side. Not gaining much on that one. Only a yard there for the Huskies as third and nine. Hampton back to throw. He's going to connect with Pipkin along the right sideline down to the 16-yard line. First and 10 to go for the Huskies as this drive stays alive for them. Jalen Poe going backwards on that one. They're going to go play action now. Hampton across the middle to his tight end, Jake Applegate. Setting up now a third and two as they're going to go double tight. Single setback. Kevin Shaughnessy has it. Fighting his way into the end zone in the freshman tight end puts the Huskies on the board to tie this game up as Gunnar Gray and the Buffalo offense coming out for their next drive and in motion to the right side it is going to be play action Gray back to throw and that's going to be completed to his tight end Ryan Daly as the junior would pick up the first down for the Bulls now it's going to be a sweep to Nick McMillian who has a couple on that play a gain of six in total as now a handoff LJ Henderson met and stopped just short of the first down third and one in the shotgun it's going to be a handoff Lamar Sperling he has the first down for the Bulls down to the 42 yard line here and counting about two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter LJ Henderson gets the call again slipping one tackle he has the first down and more taking that into NIU Husky territory down to the 43 pass midfield and another handoff here he's met for a short gain of two bringing up now a second and eight LJ Henderson in the backfield in motion as Gunnar Gray is going to sling it to him left side behind the line of scrimmage drop for a loss. Trey Porter there in the backfield for the Huskies to make the tackle as they'll get a stop here on third down. And Melo Dodge will come out for the Bulls to punt this one away, but unfortunately there is going to be a flag on this one. Personal foul. foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Another sloppy mistake there from NIU as Buffalo is going to get a fresh set of downs plus 15 yards as it's going to be a handoff to LJ Henderson here. That's going for a loss of one. Second and 11 now. Gunnar Gray in the shotgun. Another handoff. LJ Henderson, he's going to pick up only five on this one. Another third down opportunity here for the Huskies defense to get a stop. They're going back to LJ Henderson again on the draw. Slipping one tackle inside the 10 down to the six yard line. First and goal to go for the Bulls. 
with under a minute to go here in the first. As Lamar Sperling in the game, he gets the call. He's only going to pick up two. Second and goal now from the four. LJ Henderson back in the game. He gets the call, and he's going to dive into the end zone as the Bulls are going to take a 14-7 lead. Ethan Hampton in the Huskies taking back over on offense as he's going to go to the left side. That's connected with Kenji Lewis pushed out of bounds. A pickup of 28 for the senior receiver on that one. Going double tied end, single setback, man in motion. Jet sweep going right back to Kenji Lewis on this one. That play is going absolutely nowhere though as on second and 10, they're going to hand off. Jalen Poe has the first down and more into Buffalo territory as that will bring us to the end of the first quarter where Buffalo surprisingly leads the Huskies 14 to 7. And IU continuing the start of the drive here at the start of the second quarter. It's going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe who's going to pick up eight on this one. Second and two now. Kenji Lewis in motion in the backfield. It's going to be a fake to him. Play action. Ethan Hampton rolling out to his right and he is going to take a hit here going nowhere. The senior quarterback seemed indecisive whether he wanted to keep it or throw it and now that's going to be completed to Jake Applegate. A very risky throw there from the senior quarterback but he would complete that one. And that sweet play to Kenji Lewis would go for a loss of two second and goal now from the 10. Ethan Hampton hit and dropped in the backfield for a loss. The senior quarterback losing six on the play for the Huskies now third and goal. That halfback screen is going nowhere. Jalen Poe getting caught up on the defensive line, so Jake Siebert would come out for a field goal, and he would knock this one home for the Huskies. NIU still trailing, though, after that possession. 14-10, Buffalo leads. Gunner Gray and the Bulls offense coming out on the field again here. That handoff to LJ Henderson would be good for a pickup of four. Play action now. Gray across the middle. That's going to be completed to his tight end. The junior Ryan Daly with the first down reception. Now it's going to be a read option. Gunner Gray taking it himself. He's going to get caught up on his own linemen met in the backfield. They would say he made it back to the line of scrimmage though, so second and 10, Lamar Sperling, he's met in the backfield, wrapped up for a loss. Third and 12 now, this could be a big stop for the Huskies defense. Gray back to throw in, that's going to be completed for a first down. Isaiah Birch coming down with the reception in the left side seam, getting a fresh set of downs for the Bulls, as it's going to be a fake pitch and a handoff up the middle. LJ Henderson only picking up two yards on that carry, as they're going to go right back to the senior back who's going to pick up five on this one. Bringing up another third down for the Bulls. Let's see if NIU's defense can get off the field here, but Nick McMillan is going to be wide open down to the 10-yard line. And the Bulls offense is going to convert another third down here as they're making some adjustments at the line. First and 10 under three minutes to go in the first half. It is going to be play action and Gray dropped in the backfield for a sack. Going backwards six yards on that play. Second and 16 a quick RPO that's completed to Birch the sophomore is going to pick up nine yards there for Buffalo third and seven they need a touchdown basically to convert and that is going to be just short fourth and inches so Nick Reed in the field goal unit would come out for the Bulls as this kick is up and it is good they would take a seven point lead over NIU and with just over two minutes to go here in the first half this will probably be the last chance Ethan Hampton in the Huskies offense gets as they would start off great with a big run there from Jalen Poe. Hampton back to throw. That's going to be completed to Pipkin for a first down. Into Buffalo Bulls territory as we are under two minutes to go here. That's completed to Jake Applegate who's going to slip a tackle for a first. Fresh set of downs for the Huskies as they're going to try to get the Bulls defense off guard here with a halfback draw. That's going to go backwards for a loss of one though. Hampton back to throw. Rolling to his right. Feeling the pressure. He's going to take it himself just short of the first down. Third and one now for the Huskies. Back to throw. That's going to be completed to Jake Applegate get again down to the 12 yard line the Huskies now in scoring position as Poe out of the backfield in motion pressure coming they get to Ethan Hampton Devin Morgan with the big time sack for the Bulls as now the Huskies trying to set up a halfback screen here on second and 17 they're gonna pick up 14 making this a much more manageable third and three as that pass is gonna be completed for a touchdown the junior Cam Thompson getting in the end zone for the Huskies and it is now tied up at 17 apiece here with 30 seconds to go and Wyatt Wright is coming away with an interception for the NIU defense. The junior linebacker giving NIU a huge chance to take the lead here right before halftime over Buffalo. As the Huskies now have a first and goal from the nine, Hampton back to throw and he's going to be intercepted. Joey McCune, the sophomore for the Bulls, getting the takeaway right back from the Huskies. And Coach Brooks can't be happy with that wasted opportunity.
opportunity his team just gave away to take the lead as Buffalo takes over here from their own three yard line. Less than 20 seconds to go in the first half. Pretty sure all the Bulls are going to do here is just run the clock out as there's only 16 seconds left. Hand off LJ Henderson. That's going for a loss of four as the Bulls would get one more playoff, handing it off to LJ Henderson, and that would bring us to halftime. Tied at 17 apiece. Up and down performance so far for NIU on both sides of the ball. Offense not getting as much rushing production as we'd like, but hopefully that'll change here in the second half. We would have to wait to see if NIU could get the run game going in the second half, though, as Gunnar Gray and the Bulls offense would take over first to start the second half as they'd find LJ Henderson out of the backfield for a pickup of two. Bringing up now a second and eight. Gunnar Gray in the shotgun. Henderson to his left. It's going to be a fake to the senior back. Gray going right side. That's completed for a first down. Chance Morrow with the reception along the right side for the Bulls to extend this drive. Gray back to throw again. Pressure coming and he's going to be hit and dropped for a loss in the backfield. Mark Hensley making the play for the Huskies in the backfield. The sophomore defensive tackle as that brings up a second and 20 going with a quick screen to the left side. Messiah Birch only picking up three yards for the Bulls on that one as that brings up a long third and 17. Gray back to throw across the middle. That is going to be completed for a first down. Lamar Sperling playing out of the slot on that play with the big time reception for the Bulls. That halfback screen would be knocked incomplete as that will bring up now a second and 10. LJ Henderson up left side picking up five. Huskies defense now with another chance to get off the field. Third down at the 30. Gunner Gray back to throw. That's going to be completed again for a first down. And the Bulls seem to be putting together a well looking drive here to start the second half as play action. Gray rolling to his left just throws this one away. That incomplete would bring up a second and 10 now for the Bulls. Under four and a half minutes to go. Gray scanning the field. He's looking. He's going to throw this one away again. Great coverage the last two plays by the NIU secondary as Gray back to throw again. This one is going to be short of the first down. The true freshman Cameron DePoffrey not able to convert on that reception as Nick Reed would knock this one home for the Bulls. And they would take a three-point lead over the Huskies who bring out their offense here for the first time in the second half as they're going right to the run game to start this half. Not as efficient as they would have liked to been in the first half, so we can expect to see them try to change that here in the second. A second and six now for the Huskies as Kyle Thomas in motion. It's going to be a sweet pitch to him right side, trying to get the corner and he won't be able to. Only picking up two on that play, bringing up the first third down for the Huskies here. Hampton getting out quick to the right side. Completing that to Jake Apple, get four first down, down to the 43 as it's going to be another handoff here. Jalen Poe fighting forward. The sophomore halfback only picking up three on that carry as Hampton back to throw. Completed to Kyle Thomas, just short of the first. Marked 13 inches here at the 47 in the shotgun is Hampton. Poe to his left. It's going to be a handoff to the right side, and he's down to the 40-yard line. Picking up the first down and plenty extra as now Justin Lynch in the game for the Huskies, who gets the call. He's only going to pick up two, bringing up second and eight. Poe back in the game. He gets the handoff up the middle. He has the first down and plenty more. A pickup of 15 for that one from the sophomore halfback is already the running game off to a much better start for the Huskies. Kenji Lewis bringing that one down to the five-yard line. Now a wildcat pitch to Justin Lynch on the sweep play. He's only going to pick up one yard as Hampton in the shotgun dropping back to throw. That's going to be completed to Kyle Thomas for a touchdown and that is going to give the Huskies their first lead of the day. Under a minute 20 to go in the third quarter and that is NIU's first lead of the day over Buffalo here as the Bulls take back over on offense. Henderson out of the backfield setting up the screen. Drop for a loss. Hopefully we can see this NIU defense step up here in the second half and try to hold Buffalo as now they have a man in motion and it's going to be Lamar Sperling up the middle. He's going to pick up six. Another chance for the Huskies defense to get off the field here. Henderson back in the game in the backfield with Gray as they're going to set up the halfback screen. LJ Henderson just short of the first down. That would be fourth in inches and Buffalo would send out the special teams unit to pump the ball away here as that is going to be fielded by Thompson and return for no gain. NIU's defense finally getting their first stop of the game giving the offense a chance to extend this lead here. The run game has been looking a lot better so far in the second half as well as they're going to continue to feed Jalen Poe as he has the corner down to the 50 yard line and this should be the last play of the third quarter here as it is going to be a handoff Justin Lynch up the middle who's only going to pick up a few and that would bring us to the end of the third 
Huskies head into the fourth quarter with the four point lead. Switching sides of the field now with a second and eight at the start of the fourth quarter. It's going to be a handoff. Jalen Poe, he has some room to run up the middle. And this run game has been night and day difference in the second half so far for NIU. That pass completed to Kenji Lewis, bringing up a second and seven. They're going back to the ground as Jalen Poe picking up four on that one. A third and three now for the Huskies. Kenji Lewis in motion. It's going to be a fake sweep handoff up the middle to Jalen Poe, fighting his way forward for a first. Ethan Hampton now under center after picking up that first down as he's going right side. That's going to be completed to Kyle Thomas. He's only going to pick up four on that one. Second and six handoff. Jalen Poe up the middle met almost immediately. The sophomore back only picking up one on that play. Bringing up third down. Fake to the left side. Hampton across the middle. Completes it to Jake Applegate. First in goal for the Huskies to go from the seven. Handoff up the middle. Jalen Poe fighting his way forward. He's going to pick up five as Justin Lynch comes in into the game, hand off to him. He's going to take it in untouched for the touchdown, and the Huskies are going to extend this lead to 11 over the Bulls. Gunner Gray and the Bulls offense desperately need to get something to happen here as they start at their own 15. Gunner Gray dropping back to throw. He's going to be hit as he throws. That's going to be tipped and intercepted by Cyrus McGarrell of the NIU defense. A three-yard Pick six for the Huskies as that will extend their lead. What a heads up play by this defense as Daryl Ray knocks it loose. Cyrus McGarrell takes it off the tip for a touchdown. And the Huskies extend this to an 18 point lead with four minutes to go over the Bulls here in the fourth quarter. As Buffalo taking back over on offense. Gunnar Gray dropping back. He has all day in the pocket. Nowhere to go. He is met by Jake Gassaway. I don't know why he didn't take off with that one, but that would only be a pickup of one as Gunnar Gray back to throw again. He's going across the middle. That's going to be knocked incomplete. A great hit there from our free safety Trey Porter to knock that ball loose and our defense has really been stepping up so far in the second half. Third and nine as that is going to be a first down. Right as I'm saying how good our defense has been playing the second half, we give up the third down conversion as Gunnar Gray now back to throw and that's going to be knocked incomplete. Trey Porter with another huge stop for us on defense. Second and ten now. Gray back to throw across the middle. That's completed for a first down to Chance Morrow. And this drive is staying alive for Buffalo as they need points and they need them quickly. Down 18, three minutes to go. Gray, that's going to be completed to his tight end daily. Second and one now for Buffalo as they are running the hurry up no huddle offense here from the 48. Looking to get inside NIU territory as that's knocked incomplete. Jake Gassaway, our junior middle linebacker getting his hands on that one. Forcing a third and one and this is going to be completed to Ryan Daly for a first down. And we just can't seem to get off the field here as Buffalo has made it into NIU territory. First and 10 from the 45. Gray back to throw. That's going to be intercepted by Andre Cobb of the NIU defense. No one in front of him to the 20, to the 10, and that's going to be a pick six. Andre Cobb, 55 yards to extend the lead. NIU is running away with this one thanks to their defense. Just over two minutes to go. It is now a 24-point lead for the Huskies, and it is not looking good for the Bulls. That pass is completed to LJ Henderson for a pickup of eight, but they're going to need more than that if they want to get down the field quickly. Gunnar Gray dropping back to throw. That's completed for a first down. I will give up these dink and dunk passes all day, though, as Buffalo is quickly running out the clock here with them. Gunnar Gray back to throw. That's completed. Getting the Bulls down to the 37-yard line. Under two minutes to go here. Gray back to throw again. Going right side. That's going to be completed for a first down to Messiah Birch inside Husky territory. Knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Fresh set of downs for the Bulls. Gunner in the shotgun. Dropping back to throw across the middle. Completed again to Lamar Sperling inside the 10-yard line. Setting up first and goal to go from the 9 for Buffalo. They need points desperately. Here's Gunner Gray looking right side side that is going to be completed to Ryan Daly for the touchdown and of course Buffalo would go for two here and that would be incomplete a bad throw from Gunnar Gray there as that would bring out the special teams unit for the onside kick and NIU would recover this one no problem as all we'd have to do now is run the clock out and thankfully our run game has been super efficient here in the second half a nine day difference from what it was in the first half and I don't know why NIU decided to take a knee there as that would bring up a third and three handoff to Jalen 
Poe, he'd be dropped for a loss. So Jake Siebert would come out for a field goal here with under 40 seconds to go as he knocked that one down. And some poor clock management there from Coach Brooks. I guess you're going to expect to see that occasionally from a new head coach, but this is year two for him, giving Buffalo another chance here with the ball. Gunner Gray's pass on first down, way off the mark, bringing up second and 10 now, under 30 seconds to go as he's scrambling to the left, throwing this one away. From their own 19, 20 seconds left, down by 21, not much left they can do here. Third and 10, Gray back to throw, and he's going to find his receiver across the left side. Getting the Bulls offense down to their own 42-yard line, 16 seconds in counting, play action, Gray back to throw, right side, that is knocked incomplete and actually intercepted. Muhammad Gemma with the tip drill for the Huskies, another takeaway for their defense, and that would seal this one as NIU comes away with a huge 47-26 to victory, thanks in part to a great second half from their defense today. And despite the slow performance in the first half, Jalen Poe turned things around and would be named your player of the game today. And once again, our defense having another extremely dominating outing as we had four takeaways from the Buffalo Bulls today, as Cyrus McGarrell would be named your National Defensive Player of the Week. And that win would land as four-star halfback Juan Bronham and three-star right end Sergio Redman as well. But unfortunately, we would lose out on three-star quarterback Patrick Adongo, who would commit to Central Michigan. So we would go after another quarterback to try to replace him on the board, and Ben Merrill caught my eye, who had his fourth on his list. And after scouting him, he turned out to be a three-star gem quarterback, so he definitely was going on our board, and we would be trying to land him this year. So we would offer him a scholarship and hopefully could jump up the ranks and become his number one team and get him to commit to us. But that might take some work as we would have to get ready for our next game as we would be on the road again next episode to take on Eastern Michigan.